Hey guys, it's Hillary checking in from Melbourne. Today is Tuesday, September 27th. So we've been here for a little over a week. I guess you could say a week and a half. And as you can see from our YouTube channel, we haven't been daily vlogging like we promised we would, but that's because we've just been finding our grounding here in Melbourne. We pretty much walked on every street you could walk on in the CBD, which is their downtown, every day from the Saturday that we arrived. So Saturday we arrived and we just like slept. We did nothing. Sunday we woke up. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we just like went downtown every single day, did something different, did something new, walked on new streets, down new alleys, and we just like, we pretty much got it down pat now. And the past two days though, Monday and Tuesday, we have stayed home. And ironically, these past two days are the days that I spent the most money. How? Well, because I've been planning, researching, and booking a bunch of stuff. And yeah, so let me show you what I've done yesterday and today. So, uh, first I got a car, which we are renting just a few blocks from our house. We are going on a road trip tomorrow, what? We're going to the Dandenong Ranges, which is like wildlife and nature and park. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do an overnight trip there. So we rented a car. And then I also booked our flights out of Melbourne. We are going from Melbourne to Hobart and then from Launceston to Sydney. And of course, since we're going to Sydney, I had to find a place to sit. <laughs> so we booked this place on Airbnb. It's really nice. It's like right across the street from the train station. Fits all the criteria I need of a place to stay in, so that's good. After Sydney, we are flying to the Gold Coast in November. Yes, I do book that far in advance. <laughs> So while we are there, I booked a place for us to stay. It's not like a nice sub penthouse place. I booked it for some friends and us to stay. There's gonna be six, seven of us. So yeah, this is a really bomb place. I love the views. Oh, it's so nice, so nice. After that, so in the first week of December, we're going from the Gold Coast and we're flying to Auckland, New Zealand with two other of our friends. And yeah, that's what I've booked so far, but that took two days and a lot of money. <laughs> I still need to rent a car for Tasmania since we're driving around and I need to find accommodation. I think I'll just wing it. Maybe. I think. Probably not. And then we also need to get a car for the Gold Coast. We need to get a car for Auckland. Fuck, we also need a place to stay in Auckland. Yeah, lots more booking to come. But that will take us up until mid-December. Damn it, that means I need to get a flight back to Brisbane mid-December. So yeah, there's also that. And then that takes us to like at Christmas time, New Year's, and that's only half our trip. Then we got our other half. So if you can see on this map, this is what we're doing for the first three months. And then the next three months we're going up here. So yeah, lots of booking to do. But I think I'm done for now. Maybe I'll revisit this tomorrow. <laughs> So next up for this vlog, some of you have mentioned you want to see what our place looks like. So I'm going to give you a little Melbourne house tour. Um, let's start from the front door. And here we are at the front door. So I'll show you around what it looks like on our street. So that's the entrance over there. That's the car park and a really cute little quaint neighborhood slash community if you want to call it. That's what it looks like down there. And let's start the tour. So we stay in lucky number 13. <laughs> And to lock these doors, you actually have to use the key, which is kind of annoying sometimes because we only have one key and like, who has time to get the key? Oh, and by the way, you know Australia, how the toilets work backwards? It's the same thing for the keys. <laughs> so normally in North America, if you want to unlock it, you'd have to go away from the lock, right? So I would go this way since the lock is here. But here, if I want to lock it, I have to do away. And if I want to unlock it, so that's locked. And if I want to unlock it, I have to put the key towards the lock, which is like so backwards. It's just so confusing. <laughs> so again, normally in North America, I would do it this way to lock it, but to lock it, I have to turn it away from the lock. And now it's locked. Okay, so right away when you walk in, we got our laundry room here. And most places in Australia don't have dryers. So here's our trusty little washer and we need to use these hanging racks to dry our clothes. And then we go upstairs. So we actually have a two level apartment slash three, which is like really big for this area. Um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. This is what it looks like when you first come up. So it opens into the kitchen. 
Yes, it's very messy because all we do is cook and eat. <laughs> Everything you would expect in a kitchen, plus a little mess, oopsies, fridge. I love this table. Like I really need one of these tables because you can just put everything here. I do my work here. Fruits, stuff, drinks, yeah. And then over here, we've got our living room. So this is the couch, this is a TV. We barely watch the TV, but you can sit here and chill. Tang sits here and does his work. So this is his work area. And then we've got a balcony, which opens up. Cute little pots and plants. And again, the street that I showed you guys earlier. So then on to the next floor, which is the third floor where the bathroom and bedroom is. So this is just a little closet for your stuff. Got the same one over here. And this is the bathroom. So yeah, typical bathtub, shower, toilet, but check these out. So these are called heat lights. It's like growing weed, guys. So these are warm right now. It's pretty cool. I can feel the heat. It's great for winter. I don't know why I don't have that in Canada. Like we out of all people need that. <laughs> and then they've got a heated towel rack, which again, I totally need, like so fancy. Nice and warm, keep your towels nice and warm. Nice shower. And then we've got our bedroom. Hello. Oh, it's so blue in here. Let's turn on the light. Nate, get out of here. Stop blowing me. Gross. Yeah. Gosh, why are you such a vampire? Open some blinds. Okay, so this again is exactly what it looks like downstairs. Open this. And you got the top view of the streets. So that's it, that's our Melbourne house tour. Hope you guys enjoy, we enjoy staying here. So we're gonna say bye. Uh, tomorrow we are going on our day trip like I said earlier, so we'll be vlogging from there. Bye guys! Later.